everybody. It's time to talk about everyone's most offensive and controversial F word, folders. I know, I know, we don't love a folder, but we gotta talk about it because it's the number one question that I get a lot of the time in terms of how do I find documents? What am I doing? Blah, blah. To explain folders, first, let me make an analogy. And I'm going to be going over folders only today and do a separate video for team sharing because team folders and team sharing is a little bit complex in Canva, unfortunately, and it deserves its own video. So let's talk about Google Drive. What do you mean, Olivia? Well, you guys know, most people know Google Drive. So when I create a new document by hitting this giant plus sign in the top left, and let's say I create a Google Doc called, this is a new document. And why isn't that going? This is a new document, right? So I've just made a document. You guys have done that. You get it. Where does this go? Where is this document, right? We know that when you create, and I've already done this twice because I've recorded this video multiple times, uh, we know that this is now free floating in my Google Drive. It's not in any folder. It's just free floating here. Here's all my files. Here's all, here's all my junk, right? You know that in Google Drive, you need to create folders. And I'm a Virgo if that matters for anyone. I've got folders for everything that I do from power hours to my design days, to my actual client portals, to all of the things that I do, white label resources, X, Y, Z. And I create a folder and I add documents in. So you guys know that if you're in a folder and you create a document, it's now in that folder. And then you can share that whole folder with your team. So notice I've got a little shared icon right here. So most of us get Google Drive when it comes to folders. You've also got a shared with me, a recent, a starred. Canva works the same way, the same way. If you come up here and create a design, let's create an Instagram story since that's what Canva thinks that I need. And let's do, this is a story. Let's not even design it because that's not what this is about. I'm gonna resist every urge. So this is a story, right? So I've just created this document and now it is free floating in my Canva account. So now if I come over here and I refresh and we wait and we hydrate, we wait and hydrate, it is right here under unnamed design because it's gonna take a minute. So it's just floating around. You have to do the work of creating folders in Canva and it's gonna make your life so much better. So Canva has just changed this. Let's move me over here. Actually, let's make me smaller, come on. Canva has just changed this where now it's called your projects. I don't know why. Am I a CEO of Canva? I am not. If I was the CEO of Canva, I would just call that folders because that's what it's called over here. Well, it's called my drive, I guess. But now this is called folders. How, how hard is that? Folders, we want folders. Now your folder structure is going to be up to you, but here's how I structure my folders. I have folders for a couple of different areas. So first of all, my courses. So my Brand It Better logo course has 34 items in it because it's everything that I create for Brand It Better goes in there. However, I also have a folder called Let's Go Brand. And this is my big brand folder. This has everything I could ever dream of in terms of assets and items for my brand. Um, so I don't know why it does edited. I like for it to be name A to Z because then I number my folders. So my terrazzo pattern is always first, my icon suite, my flat lays, which has all of these great photos that I got done from Mushaboom Studio. Uh, I have some like speckledy things, cutouts, illustrations, gradients, my own brand headshots. And then I even layered more folders inside of that. I have my brand headshots delineated by when I got them done because I remember what outfits I was wearing. This is my folder structure and I adhere to it really strictly because it's very hard to find things. Now you can search content. So the other day I was looking for um, a template that I had made and I was like, I know it was a carousel. I know I had made a carousel. So I typed in carousel and it did not show me all of these. The one that I eventually found, it's not one of these right here. So don't forget, you can actually swap between in the search bar templates and your projects templates, your projects. So if I type in carousel, Canva's first gonna wanna sell me on its templates, or you can click your projects and search that. So I could also search brand guide. I have lots of brand guides. There's a couple on here. Boop, 
boop, boop. But notice how this one right here, this style guide that's here, it's not actually over here. So it gets a little strange. So when it comes to searching things, the older a project is, the harder it's going to be to find because the Canva is going to prioritize all of your recent stuff. So let's go over that. Under your projects, this is going to be sort of the hub, like your Google Drive hub. Up here, it's going to be recent. Right here, it's going to be folders. And then underneath, it's just designs. If you go home, same thing. All of this is just going to be recent designs. And as you scroll down, it's just recent designs. I know a lot of you are just chilling here. You're just making stuff and then you're scrolling and trying to remember. <laughs> I'm going to encourage you guys, your action item for today, go make a folder, just one folder. Whether it's your brand elements, putting in all of your fancy patterns, whether it's a couple of templates, whether it's XYZ. Actually, I don't even know what that is and it's really cute. That's a cute design, oh my gosh. Uh, I should probably put that into a folder. Um, the other thing is that Canvas is going to show you which items are in folders. So you're going to see right here this logo system versus branded better logo systems. This one is telling me that this is in the branded better folder, and this one is telling me that it's not in anything and it needs to be. So I recommend you guys make folders today. Now, how do I actually add things into those folders? There's a couple of ways. So you can hover over these three dots, click move to folder and add it into a folder. You can search folders. So if I wanted this to go into brand it better, I could just type in brand and here's my folder. That's way number one. You can also be in the project and this is my recommendation. So my virtual assistant, Madison from Keeping It Creativity, just designed me these incredible little um, tiles for HoneyBook. So this to me falls under headers, headers and thumbnails. So it's my habit and I just recommend that you all make this as a habit. It is my habit to immediately save something from a folder by going to file and save to folder immediately. And then this one I know is a header in a thumbnail. I have a folder called headers and thumbnails and everything that is a blog header, a newsletter header, a thumbnail, all of it goes into there, every single little piece. So go ahead and make it a habit. When you create a design, put it in a folder immediately. That would be like, when you fold a clean piece of clothing that you just like leave it on your bed. Go ahead and put it into the drawer. Go ahead and do it. I would write out your system on a piece of paper and decide, okay, I want brand elements, I want this, um, and I'll show you another sneak peek of mine. Again, this one, um, these are all my folders. I have Canva templates, which I don't really, I need to add more stuff in there. Brand It Better, which is what my most active because I've been doing a lot of content for it. Let's Go Social has all of my social media stuff. It's got Instagram, Pinterest assets. So all of my Instagram content is also in here. And this also helps me show my virtual assistant and other team members where to go get things. I have headers and thumbnails again, which is really important to me. This is where I keep, um, I need to organize it a little bit better, but where I keep all of my headers and things, my freebies, these are old gradients. I can delete them. Uh, presentations. I've got five items in there and portfolio pieces. So that's currently how I'm working to organize my folders. And I highly recommend you guys do that as well. Making folders is going to make your Canva account a more manageable place. So hopefully this is explained a little bit behind the scenes. Your job is to go make a folder and comment below what folder you made and what things you put in it. All right, guys. Go forth and boulder.